Hello and welcome to our first Dreamweaver website design project. In this series you'll learn how to build a complete website from start to finish using Dreamweaver CS6. You can use your own images and resources for this project or if you prefer you can download all of the project files shown in these tutorials. You can also get the complete series manual in printed or ebook format along with the high definition video tutorials from wizzybooks.com. We're now ready to start adding the content to our index page and if I scroll down you'll see that we've got uh, our title at the top followed by a paragraph of text and underneath that we've got these two images and that again is followed by another paragraph of text. So our images are going to appear between the two paragraphs and we've done some formatting on these images as well. We've placed some margin, padding and a red border around these images. So we'll see how to do that as well. So let's switch over to Dreamweaver and we'll open up the index.html and that file will open up. We'll scroll down and we can see our paragraphs of text and our images are going to end up in between these two paragraphs. So let's change to code view here and we'll scroll down. This is our content section and there's our H1 heading. The two paragraphs of text are just underneath that. So I'm going to make a little bit of space between these two paragraphs and I'll place my cursor in between them and we've inserted images before. So we open an image tag. Source is going to be one of the images in our site folder. So we'll open up the image folder and the one we're looking for is the trees one BW, the black and white version. We've also got a trees one which is a color version and we'll be using this file later on to create that hover effect. So for now it's trees one black and white or BW and you can see the dimensions here if you're using your own files and we'll say OK. That image path gets inserted and then we simply close with a space, a forward slash and a closing angle bracket and we'll save that and let's just preview that in a browser so we'll scroll down and there's our first image inserted okay let's insert the second image so again we'll come back between the two paragraphs of text we'll create a new line and we'll insert the second black and white image And this time we're looking for trees 2 black and white and OK and close that one off save that and we'll go back and preview that page in the browser so we've got our two images in there the next thing we need to do is to format them so that they've got the border margin and padding and we'll do that with CSS. So we'll switch back to our index document and these are the two images that we've been working on and we're going to format these with some inline styling. So we'll come back to our CSS file and we're going to scroll right down until we get to the bottom of the code. We'll make a little bit of space and we'll put in a comment to say that this is the area where we're going to keep our class styles. So class styles and under there we'll create a rule that will allow us to apply that formatting. So a class style always starts with a full stop and we're going to call this one home page dash image and again we'll need our opening and closing curly brackets and we're going to put a couple of different things in here so I'm going to come down underneath and the first thing I want to add is a little bit of margin so we'll say margin 8 pixels and we'll place some padding in there as well 
and we'll give this nine pixels of padding. And then we need to place that red border around them. So we'll say border, and it's going to be a one pixel red solid border. OK, so we've got our class rule set up there now and we've called it home page image. We've set some margin, padding and border. I'll save that. And we'll switch back to our preview window and we'll refresh that. And you'll notice that nothing's happened. This formatting hasn't yet been applied. And that's because we've got to apply that class style to the individual images. We might have other images that we want to place on this page that we don't want to format in that way. So we're going to target both of these images with that class style. So we'll switch back to Dreamweaver and we'll switch back to the HTML code. So this is our first image and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my cursor just before the source and I'm going to type in class and then the equal sign and open quotation marks and when I get to that point the code hint window will open and we can see our home page image class style in there and it's been selected there right at the top so I'm just going to press enter and then we'll close the quotation marks finish off with a space so that we separate the source from our class style so we've got the image and we've applied a class to the image and the source of that image is the trees one dot black and white. Let's not apply that class style to this second image just yet. We'll see how it looks with just one image. Remember, we've made changes to both the HTML and the styles. So we'll say save all. And then we'll come down and preview that one. Refresh. And you can see now that the first image has got that border padding and margin applied. We've still got to do the second image, but that will be a case of simply copying pasting that class style. So we'll switch back to Dreamweaver. There's the class entry that we just entered. I'll highlight that and copy. And then we'll place the cursor just at the beginning of the source for trees 2 and paste. And now we've got that class style applied to both of our images. So let's save all and preview that and there it is both of our images now are formatted just as we want them and in our next lesson we'll see how we apply that hover effect that makes these pictures change to color as we hover our mouse over them if you found this series of videos helpful and you want to receive updates on video tutorials as they're released why not subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and share it with your friends.